Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we could go through my highlighter collection. Now, I recently did this with my bronzers and you guys seem to really love it. So I thought let's take a deeper dive into the highlighters as well. I recently did do a declutter. So the highlighters that I have are ones that I really love and enjoy. I'll link that declutter video down below if you haven't seen it. Now highlighters can be another one of those tricky categories for fair skin because a lot of them are quite deep and it just looks like a stripe on your beautiful fair skin and we're not here for that okay. We want that beautiful blended glowy fresh skin. So today when I talk about these highlighters I am going to reference three different finishes. I got this from Anna Elaine. The way she describes her highlighters is absolutely perfect. And I was like, wow, I need to do that myself. So first up we have satin, which gives a beautiful natural glow. Next we have a metallic finish, which is something that is really pigmented. It gives you that bold kind of Instagram highlighter look. And then we have a glossy finish, which is a really nice translucent glossy wet look. Mm, my favorite. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough rambling. Let's get into my highlighter drawer. Okay, so I keep my highlighters in my Alex drawers. I have the set of five and my acrylic organizers are from Vanity Collection. So I will link those down below. Such a good investment. I literally have them in all of my drawers. So this drawer, I have two rows of highlighters and one row of blushes. So let's begin. First up, we have the Rimmel Glow Stick, and this is in the shade Bubbly. Now, this one is newer to my collection, and I freaking love it. I've really been into, like, liquid and cream highlights lately. I feel like they just give so much more of a glossy look, which, as I said earlier, I've just been really into lately. So this one does look a little deep when you open it. But once swatched, it just leaves the most beautiful translucent glow. See how there's not a lot of pigment to it? That's what I really love. Oh my gosh, and look at that. So when it comes to highlighting colors, I really prefer something that has more of a light gold or a champagne tone to it. I'm not really into pink toned highlighters, so... If that's something that you enjoy, I'm really sorry, but I don't have much of that in my collection. Another cream highlighter that I've been into lately is this Savvy Duo here. Now, this one comes with a highlighter on top and a blush down the bottom. Eh, there we go. This one is a little bit more of a gold tone. It's not as translucent as the Rimmel. You can see that it has a bit more pigment to it, so it gives it more of that metallic finish but still equally as glowy. And for such an affordable highlighter, it does last a really long time on the skin, which is good. Sticking to the cream and liquid highlights, let's jump back here. I've got two by Mecca Maxima, or well, actually Mecca Cosmetica. So the first one here is the Enlightened Lit From Within Illuminating Balm. And as you can see, I freaking love this. It gives such a beautiful glossy wet look and again has quite a translucent base. This one is a little expensive. I think it's around $40. So if you're looking for a good dupe, I definitely go with the Rimmel. It just leaves that really beautiful glass skin vibe. And then this one here is a blush and highlighter duo. This is called the Hydra Cheek Tint and Illuminating Balm in Weekend Skin Blossom. Quite similar to the one I showed before. I actually don't really know if there's much difference. They look quite the same swatched on my hand, but I picked this one up because it comes with a blush as well that is also super glossy and hydrating. And then lastly for the liquids, I have this Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, and this is in the shade Spotlight. Sorry, the focus is so bloody bad. Every time I move, it gets out of focus. But anyway, this, oh my God. Oh my God. It is absolutely stunning. Now this one is a bit more gold than the other ones that I've swatched. And it does have a bit more of a metallic finish. So as I said, if you were to layer that up, you can get a really nice, bold, pigmented look with it. But it still leaves that glossy finish. 
So even though you can build it up, it still looks very natural on the skin. This is a very expensive product. I think it was around $60. So if you do want to treat yourself, I do recommend this. But there are a lot of drugstore options as well if that's not in your price range. All right, now onto the powders. I have this one here by Savvy. This is the Mineral Baked Highlighter. And it is in the shade Pure Pearl. This actually leaves quite a metallic finish. It's a very beautiful shade for fair skin. More of a white pearl rather than a gold. It's only a few dollars as well, so super affordable. If you're after something similar that's also very affordable, these single eyeshadows from Essence are really great as highlighters. So this is in the shade Apricotter. As you can see, it's a little more warm. And because they're eyeshadows, they leave a beautiful metallic glow. They come in a variety of different shades. So if you do like something more pink toned or something more of a deeper gold, you can definitely find your shade. And it's just a great way to get two uses out of a product. Next, I have this BYS Diamond Highlighter, and this is in the shade Energy. This one does look quite yellow in the pan, and when I was doing my declutter, I was really unsure if I wanted to keep this, but it did leave a beautiful metallic finish, and it blended quite well into my fair skin. Look at that there. Wow. My little gripe with drugstore highlighters is that they can be very dry and chalky. So when I find a drugstore highlighter that actually gives me a beautiful glow, then I'm in love because I just feel like high-end does highlighters better. Well, they have in the past. I feel like the drugstore is stepping up, but I still have a little bit of a trust issue with drugstore highlighters. Next is this highlighter by Colourpop, and this is in the shade Here Kitty Kitty. Again, this was one that I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep, but I decided yes, obviously. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a different shade to mix up my collection, and again, it has a really beautiful metallic finish. This is the W7 Very Vegan Highlighting Powder, and it doesn't have a shade. Oh no, Nature's Glow, perhaps? Now, I picked this one up when I did my full face testing W7 products, and it had pretty good reviews online. Now, it does feel rather creamy, and it's a very pigmented highlighter. It's a bit of a deeper gold shade, though, so I find if I go too heavy, you can see that stripe that I talked about earlier. So if I go in with a light hand, it's quite nice, but... I think it's just a little bit too deep for my super fair skin, but overall it does leave a nice metallic finish and it is a beautiful highlighter. It just doesn't last very long on the skin. Next is this highlighter by Revolution Pro and this is the Skin Finish in Opalescence. I think this is meant to be like a skin finishing powder because it does leave a very subtle finish. So I would put this one in the satin category because as I said, it leaves a very subtle finish. If you like to do really natural makeup or you just don't want an extremely glowy glow, this is perfect because it just leaves such a beautiful sheen. I was a little thrown off by the color. I'm like, oh my God, it's very beige and there's some brown through it, but it works really well for my fair skin and Again, I love it. Next, I have this highlighter by Makeup Geek. I don't think they sell it anymore and I don't know what the shade is. <laughs> but again, this is more of a yellow, kind of like a pale yellow highlighter. It leaves such a beautiful satin finish and it's one of my oldest highlighters that I've had. So I've just, you know, I just couldn't get rid of it. But there's not much point showing that because I don't think they sell it. So moving on to the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. This is the Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Now looking in the pan, it looks really deep and like it's going to be way too dark for me. This is one of the best drugstore highlighters I have ever tried. It is just so creamy and soft and leaves such a beautiful, glossy look. Now, again, if I go too heavy, you can see the gold. But if I do a nice, light application, oh my god. So I'm just going to sheer it out 
because if you do go heavy, it's quite metallic, but sheared out, it is very beautiful and it works for my skin tone. It just has such a smooth and blendable formula. It lasts a really long time on the skin and it's definitely one I recommend. But as I said, if you are as fair as me, just take caution with how heavily you apply it. And then up the back here, I have the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This one is super affordable. It's only $10. Now, this shade here is the only one I use and quite a good comparison to show you the kinds of shades I'm talking about when it comes to highlighting. So I prefer this, which is a nice champagne tone. You've got your pink and your gold. So I'll swatch all of them for you so you can see. This gold is just a bit too dark for me. As I said, I'm not into the pink highlights and this shade is my favorite. So you've got gold, pink, and then the champagne on the end there. I just feel like this blends so much better into my skin tone. Look at the metallic finish of these highlighters though. They are absolutely stunning. And this is just such an affordable palette. You are really getting bang for your buck. Even though I only use one of the shades, I still think for $10, it's absolutely worth it. Another drugstore highlighter that I've gotten into recently is this Revolution Reloaded Highlighter, and this is in the shade Just My Type. Taylor Wynn was actually raving about this, so I thought I'd better give it a try because she is one of the fair skin queens on YouTube. First of all, the pattern on this is just stunning, which I actually forgot to mention how beautiful the pattern is on this Revlon Highlights highlighter. Like, wow. Stunning. So the shade of this one is a little bit different to the others I have in my collection. I feel like it's a touch warmer, a little bit peachy even, and it leaves a beautiful metallic finish. It's not like super pigmented though, so it's still quite glossy. See how it just blends really nicely into my skin tone and I'm getting that nice metallic finish. So that is all for the drugstore highlights. I feel like these ones are real standouts. The formulas are very smooth, blendable, and creamy. They last a reasonable amount of time, and they are definitely worth your money when it comes to highlighters from the drugstore. So moving on to more high-end, this Mary Luminizer by The Balm is an absolute classic. Now it is sold at Priceline here in Australia, so it's drugstore, but I feel as though it's more high-end pricing. Now, this broke on me a long time ago, and I put it back together, I really haven't dipped into this in a while. Ooh, but it is so soft and beautiful feeling. Okay, this is like a pale gold, a very metallic finish. And I feel like it just used to be raved about in the makeup world back in the day. So it's an absolute staple, which is why it's still in my collection. It was just one of the first highlighters that actually worked for my fair skin tone back when there wasn't that many to choose from. So... It's just a classic, you know? Moving on, I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta, and this is in the shade Moonstone. A beautiful pale gold color that leaves a metallic finish. It is so soft. If you love gold highlighters and have fair skin, I feel like this is the perfect gold shade. It has a bit of warmth to it, but not too much so that it actually blends into my skin tone. It's absolutely stunning. It is expensive, but I would absolutely recommend it. Now this one here is a very old one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Starlight Illuminator. And I don't think they've sold these for ages, but it is such a beautiful highlighter. I wish they still sold them individually because I know like her highlighting palettes were all the rage, but for someone with fair skin, I'm not getting use out of all of those shades. So what's the point in buying it? I prefer to buy a single shade that I know is going to work for my fair skin. I feel like I've swatched this in the most weird place, so what's even the point? But you can't get any more, but it was very beautiful. Now this highlighter. If you are going to buy one highlighter as a fair skin gal, and you love a glossy wet look finish, this is where it's at. Oh my God, this is the most beautiful highlighter. So this is MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I don't even have the words to describe how beautiful this is. Again, a pale gold, my favorite. And what I love about this is that it's a powder highlighter 
that gives that glossy wet look finish. I'm sure everything is just starting to look the same at this point, but look at that glow. It is super glossy. And even though it looks quite gold in the pan, it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it, which is what I believe gives you that nice glossy wet look. It just blends into your skin so beautifully. It is freaking amazing. So if you're after a wet look glossy highlighter, I'd go for this one. Metallic, I'd go for the Becca. If you're looking for a gold highlighter, that is. Another one from MAC and an absolute staple in my collection is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Lyscapade. This was my very first high-end highlighter. I was so excited to buy it. As you can see, it's a very pale shade with a bit of blue and pink marbling through it. So these kind of undertones work really well for fair skin. Now this is a satin finish, so it leaves a very subtle natural glow. It's an absolute staple and one that I will never get rid of. Next, I have the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. Now this one I feel is quite underrated. They got a bit of a bad review, but I really enjoy it. It does look more pink toned, but this is a glossy finish. So again, it has very little back pigment. So even though when I swatch it, it looks quite bold, it doesn't look like that on the skin. When you blend it out, it leaves the most beautiful wet look. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. And you don't really see any of that bold pigment that you do when you first swatch it on your finger. Next, I have the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. This is a duo pan. So we've got Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. Now, Lightning Dust is more of a subtle satin finish and Fire Crystal is metallic. So let me swatch them for you. The metallic shade has a bit more glitter in it. I really love this highlighter because you are getting the best of both worlds. If you don't have the money to splurge and buy different finishes of highlighters, this is great because you're getting the two in one. They're both really nice shades that work well for fair skin. A bit more on the pinky side, but not so pigmented that you're going to get that pink stripe on your face. And then lastly, I have another one from Fenty Beauty, and this is the Diamond Bomb Highlighter in the shade How Many Carrots, and this is a very unusual highlighter. So as you can see, it looks white in the pan. If you get close up, you can see it contains a lot of glitter. This is like a hybrid cream to powder. It's very soft and squishy in the pan. Now this has a translucent base and it is just, it's glitter. So if you want a full on metallic, shimmery, over the top highlighter, this is where you're going to go. But at the same time, because it has that translucent back pigment, it can still be quite subtle for a glitter. I'm probably not making any sense. Let me just swatch it for you. So I like to pat this one onto the skin. So you can see there, there's not much of a color to it, but I'm hoping you can see the glitter. It is absolutely stunning and I love using it when I'm doing extra glam looks because it just adds that oomph and that bam, wow, <laughs> to the skin. Seriously, you can tell I'm running out of describing words. <laughs> All right, I can't be bothered to put my camera back up for this outro. So that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to know what my absolute favorite highlights are from my collection, I do have a video dedicated to that with swatches and comparisons. So I'll link that down below if you want to go watch it. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and subsid some sitter. <laughs> consider subscribing. I post lots of content related to makeup for fair skin. So if you need help or recommendations, reviews, whatever, I've got you covered. All right, I've got to go. I am running out of brain power, but I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.